Today I have something really exciting to talk about, Wasm and Docker. Now I know some of you might be familiar with one or both of these technologies, but we are going to explore how they can work together to create powerful applications. I will answer what Wasm is, what does it have to do with Docker, the difference between Docker and Wasm, and how does their integration work and whether Wasm will eventually replace Docker. So let's dive right in. If you have used powerful applications like Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom or Figma on your computer, it typically requires a large download and time-consuming installation process. Now what if I told you that there is a way to run these complex applications directly in your web browser without any installation hassle? That's where WebAssembly or WASM for short comes into play. WebAssembly or WASM is a cutting-edge technology that allows us to run high-performance applications in a web browser. The web applications we commonly encounter are built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, while JavaScript is excellent for creating interactive web pages, it has its limitations when it comes to running complex programs like Photoshop or video games, which are typically written in languages such as C, C++, or Rust, and run as desktop applications. Wasm is a game changer because it serves as a new compilation target for languages like C, C++ or Rust. Instead of compiling these languages into the usual machine code specific to a particular operating system, we can now compile them into Wasm code. Once the C, C++ or Rust code is compiled to Wasm binary format, it can be loaded and executed directly in the browser alongside JavaScript. So when you visit a website that uses Wasm, your browser downloads the Wasm code and runs it seamlessly along with any JavaScript code on the page. And this opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Applications that were once limited to desktop environments can now be accessed and used online through a web browser. This includes sophisticated tools like Figma for creating wireframes and even high-end video games, all without needing to install anything on your device. Developers typically use tools like mscripten, wasm explorer, or wasm fiddle to compile their C, C++ or Rust code to wasm binary format. And once this binary format is generated, it can be integrated into web applications using JavaScript, enabling seamless interaction between the wasm code and the rest of the web application. Let's see a simple demo to see this in action. To kick things off, let's begin with a classic Hello World program in C. Our goal here is to compile it, run it locally, and then work our magic to see it running on the web. So here is a code for simple Hello World program written in C that prints the Hello World on the screen. We'll use the GCC compiler to compile C code into an executable binary. Once compiled, we'll have a file named Hello World.exe, which when executed, displays the Hello World text on the screen. Now we'll take the same program and compile it into a WebAssembly or Wasm binary to run it within a web browser. Now instead of GCC here, we'll use the mscripten tool as per the documentation on the mscripten website. By using the emcc command, we can compile the hello world.c file into Wasm binary. Now a handy option for the emcc command is the hyphen o option which generates an HTML file containing the necessary JavaScript code to load the Wasm binary seamlessly. After running the emcc command, we'll find three files automatically generated, a hello world HTML file, a JavaScript file, and a Wasm binary file. The JavaScript file facilitates the loading of the Wasm binary as a resource on the web page. Upon examining this JavaScript file, you'll notice that the Wasm binary is loaded into the web page. And now when we open the HTML file in a browser, the C code is executed and the expected hello world output is displayed on the page. Thus, we have successfully compiled the C code into a Wasm binary and integrated it with a web page. Isn't it incredible? With WebAssembly or Wasm, we have effortlessly transformed and loaded the same C code into the browser environment. And this demonstrates the sheer power of Wasm in running complex applications within a web browser. Wasm also allows you to run applications not just within web browsers, but also outside of them on various operating systems. When you compile a program written in languages like Go, Rust, or C++ into WebAssembly format, you get a platform-neutral binary. And this binary can be executed on any Wasm runtime, such as Wagi, Wasm Time, or Wasm Edge. Here is how it works. You first need to compile it to Wasm. You take your application code, written in Go, Rust, or C++, and compile it into Wasm binary. This binary is independent of the underlying operating systems and processor architecture. Wasm runtimes, just like JVM or V8 engines, which you may already be familiar with, are responsible for executing applications written in specific languages. However, they are not tied to any particular OS or architecture. The Wasm system interface or WASI 
provides a way for Wasm Runtime to interact with the host operating system and access these resources securely. The Wasm binary then runs inside the WebAssembly runtime, which handles the execution according to the current OS and processor. This means you can run the same Wasm application on different operating systems, regardless of whether they use Intel or ARM processors. Let's witness the magic of Wasm in action once again, but this time with a new twist. Earlier, we compiled our C code into a Wasm binary, perfect for executing in web browser. Now, we'll take it a step further and compile it into a JavaScript file suitable for running in any Node.js environment. And this process remains remarkably similar. We'll employ the trusty emcc command, providing the source code along with the dashboard option. However, this time we'll specify the JavaScript file as the output. The result? The emcc command generates both a Wasm binary and a JavaScript file that's tailored to be executed in Node.js. Here we have shown how a C program can be effortlessly compiled into a Wasm binary, making it compatible with web browsers and Node.js environments. And this versatility is what draws a striking resemblance between Wasm and Docker or containers. This ability to execute applications anywhere, regardless of the operating system, is a game changer, unlocking a world of possibilities for developers. So let's dive into the topic of Docker, compare it with Wasm to uncover the synergies between the two. When we executed our C program in our local machine in the earlier demo, it involved several steps. We downloaded and installed a C, C++ compiler compatible with our operating system. Then we installed the necessary libraries and dependencies to work with the GCC compiler. Then we configured the path variable to use the GCC command from anywhere in our file system. We then compiled the source program with the correct GCC command. And then we run the generated executable. Now let's say your teammate wants to run and check your fancy hello world program under their Mac system. Maybe you can then share the C source file with your colleague. Traditionally, running a C or C++ program on a different machine involved a series of complex and error prone steps, such as installing the right compiler, libraries, and dependencies. Even when sharing code with teammates, compatibility issues across different operating systems could cause mm -hmm. headaches. However, Docker comes to the rescue as a powerful solution to these challenges. It allows you to package your entire application along with all the necessary libraries and dependencies into a single container. Think of a container as a self-contained virtual environment that runs on top of the host operating system. This means that your colleague, regardless of their operating system or hardware infrastructure, can effortlessly run your program by simply using the Docker container you provide. With Docker, you no longer have to worry about installation mishaps, compatibility problems, or version conflicts. You create a Docker image, which is like a snapshot of your application environment, and then share it with others. When your teammate runs the Docker container, they get an identical environment, ensuring that your program works consistently across different machines. In a sense, Docker streamlines the development and deployment process, promoting collaboration among team members and eliminating the it works on my machine issues. By encapsulating everything needed for the program to run in Docker container, it becomes a portable unit that guarantees consistency across various systems. Let's have a quick look at how to create and run the Docker container that can run our Hello World program. So here we are with our simple C program. Our goal is to containerize it. So we built a Docker image for it. For that, we create a Docker file. The Docker file looks like this. It is built from the GCC image. It is an image that has the C compiler. In it, in the next few lines, we copy the code from the local directory into the image using Docker's copy. As you probably saw already, Docker and Wasm do a lot of things the same way and both can package applications and enable them to be run anywhere. Docker's architecture diagram has first the underlying infrastructure, then comes the host operating system, and then the Docker engine. And then we have the containers that have the application libraries, dependencies, and binaries. Now, if you look at the Wasm architecture diagram, you will see the infrastructure, then the host operating system, and then the WASI which is the WebAssembly system interface, and that's responsible for providing access to system resources for the Wasm runtime. And then you have the Wasm runtime on which the Wasm modules run. Now, if you take a closer look at these two, you'll notice some distinct differences. Docker wraps the program and its dependencies into single package that we call as an image, and then runs it as container. A Docker container consists of a full file system utility programs, binaries, and libraries, which appear to be complete operating system. So if you have a Raspberry Pi OS running on Docker, then you should create a Docker image for your C program based on your Linux image. 
and compile it for your ARM processor architecture. Otherwise, your container will not run properly. On the other hand, WASM modules and binaries are pre-compiled C, C++, Rust or Go applications. These WASM binaries can be easily executed on WASM runtime. It is important to note that WASM modules are compiled to native code. This means that they can be executed directly by the CPU, regardless of the underlying operating systems or hardware architecture, meaning that they can be run from any platform that supports WASM. Docker images, on the other hand, are typically compiled to bytecode, which means that they need to be interpreted by a virtual machine. And this can make them less portable, as different virtual machines may not be available on all platforms. However, WASM is still a relatively new technology and not all platforms currently support it. Before we move forward, I encourage you to pause the video and take a closer look at the key differences between Docker and WASM assembly. This will help you to gain a deeper understanding of their unique features and capabilities. Clearly, they have different strengths and weaknesses. WASM can be used to replace Docker in some cases, but it is not always the best choice. For example, if you need to deploy an application to a platform that does not support WASM, then you will need to use Docker. However, if you need to deploy an application to a variety of platforms, then WASM can be a good choice. In fact, WASM and Docker can be used together. For example, you could use a Docker to package a WASM module and its dependencies, and then deploy the Docker image to a variety of platforms. This can be a good way to get the benefits of both WASM and Docker. For example, let's say you are building a serverless application that uses WASM module for its backend. You could use Docker to package the WASM module and the rest of the application's dependencies into single image. This would make it easy to deploy the application to a serverless platform like AWS Lambda or Google Cloud Functions. Here are some of the steps involved in the process. You can use a compiler like mscripten to compile your code to WASM. You then create the Docker file. The Docker file should specify the commands that need to be run to build the image. In this case, you would need to copy the compiled WASM module into the image and then set it as the entry point. You can then use the docker build command to build the image. And then you deploy the image to a serverless platform. You can use the docker push command to push the image to a docker registry. And then you can deploy the image to serverless platform like AWS Lambda or Google Cloud Functions. And once the image is deployed, the WASM module will be loaded and executed. This will allow your serverless applications to run on any platform that supports Docker, regardless of the underlying hardware or operating system. This use case demonstrates how WASM and Docker can be used to build serverless functions that are both portable and performant. The WASM module can be used to implement the application's backend logic, which is computationally intensive task. The Docker image can then be deployed to a serverless platform, which will take care of the management of the underlying infrastructure. And this is just one of the examples of how WASM and Docker can be used together. There are many other possibilities depending on your specific needs and requirement. WASM is generally considered to be more portable than Docker. This is because WASM modules are designed to be portable, meaning that they can be run on any platform that supports WASM. Docker images on the other hand are not necessarily always portable. So you may need to make some modifications to your image before you can deploy to a specific platform. In summary, WASM and Docker can be used together in variety of ways. The examples I have shown are just a few of the possibilities. If you are looking for a way to build efficient, portable and secure applications, I recommend that you consider using these technologies together.